this video is going to talk about handy text functions in Excel. If you have a huge database and you need to clean the database, manipulate the data in it to achieve certain results, if you're aware of certain text functions, cleaning and manipulating data can be much easier and faster. So I'm going to take you through certain handy text functions in Excel. The first one is upper. Upper simply converts a text string into uppercase. So for example, if you have names of employees in a table and you notice that the first letter of each name is not in uppercase and you need to convert that quickly, you can use the function upper. The syntax for upper is text. This is simply the text string which you want to convert to uppercase. The second text function is lower. This converts a text string into lower case. The syntax for lower is again the text which you would like to convert to lower case. Now we look at proper. Proper converts the first character of each word in a cell in capital letters and all other letters following the capital letter in small letters. So for example, if you have a name, Bill Clinton, and the letter B and the letter C are not in capital letters, you can use proper to convert the first character of each of those words in capital letters. The next function is len. This basically finds the length of a string. And the syntax here is again text and this is the string for which you would like to count the number of letters. So for example the word bill has four letters so if you don't want to spend time counting the number of letters in each cell you can simply use len. Our next function is exact. This basically checks whether the two strings are identical. And the syntax here is text1 and text2. Text1 and text2 are two text strings which you would like to match to determine whether they are identical or not. If it is identical, then it's going to return true. And if it's not identical, then it will return false. Our next function is search. This searches for the position of a text in a string. The syntax here is find text within text and start number. Find text is a first syntax and this is the text you want to find within a particular text. And within text is the text string from which you want to find the text which you're looking for. And start number is the character number in within text from which you want to start searching for the text. Replace is our next function. Replace basically changes part of the text string with a new text string based on what we have specified. The first syntax in replace is old text. This is the text in which you want to delete certain characters and add new characters to it. Start number is the next syntax. This is the starting character number or the position within the old text. So for example, your entire old text is my name is, and you would like to start replacing the word name, then your start number would be four because my contains two letters and then there is a space and then name. So name starts with the letter N and that falls in the fourth place in this entire text string. Then num characters. This is the number of characters or letters which you would like to replace. Then the final syntax is new text. This is the new text that you will replace with the old text. Now we'll look at the function text. This formats a value, but in the process, it converts the value in a text. So for example, if you have the number seven 
in a cell and you would like to change it to $7.00, you can use the text function to do it, but it'll convert that number 7 to a text value. And there's only one syntax in this function, which is called value. And this is basically the cell containing the numeric value. Our final text function is char. This function converts a normal number to a character. This is used to translate coded pages, which are received from other computer systems. The syntax for this function is number any number from 1 through 255 and each of these numbers stand for a letter and the letter A can be found if you input the number 65 in this function because that's where the alphabet A is found and finally we will look at how to merge cells without losing data in them so now let's look at various examples to better understand all these text functions all right, this is our worksheet. As you can see, we have a name in cell B2. The first two letters are in uppercase and other letters are in lowercase. And we would like to convert all of those letters in uppercase. So in this case, even if you just type everything in caps, it will not take you very long. But imagine if you have sheets and sheets of data with such kind of formatting, then it might be troublesome. Therefore, we need to use the function upper. So go ahead and click on the cell where you would like the name to appear. And then type in an equal to sign and type upper. And then open bracket. This is one way of approaching the function. The other way of approaching is by clicking on this FX here and type in upper and click go. Once you do that, under select a function, click on upper and click OK. Once you do that, a window will appear and under text, go ahead and click on cell B2 because that's the text we would like to convert into uppercase and click OK. Once you do that, you can see that all the letters are in uppercase now. We can do the same for cell C2 and Sabrina as well is in uppercase. Now let's say you would like to convert all of these letters in lowercase. So go ahead, type in an equal to sign and type in lower, open bracket and click on cell B3 and close bracket and enter. Once you do that, all of these letters are converted to lowercase. Now let's say we would like to change cell B2 such that the first letter is in uppercase and all the other letters are lowercase. In other words, we would like it to appear properly. So what you need to do is go to the FX function, type in proper, and click go. Under select a function, proper will appear. Click OK. Once you do that, another window will appear. Go ahead and click on cell B2. And then click OK. Look, the name Surabi has now changed to all small letters except for the first letter S, which is capital. Now, let's say we would like to count the number of letters in this name. So what we can do is type in an equal to sign and then type in LEN, open bracket, select the cell for which you would like to count the number of letters and then close bracket and click enter. It's saying seven because all of these letters sum up to seven. Now let's say we would like to match whether cell B2 is equal to cell C2, as in, are these names the same? So in order to figure that out, go ahead and type in an equal to sign and type in exact. 
and open bracket, click on the first text, and then type in a comma, and then click on the next text, and then close bracket, and hit enter. Notice it is saying false. Because Surabi and Sabrina are not equal to each other, they're not the same names. So our next function is search. Let's say I would like to find at what position does the word is fall into in this particular sentence. That means where does I begin in the sentence India is my country. And I've written the sentence in cell C8. So after clicking on cell B8, I'm going to go to the FX function and type in search and click go. Under select a function, I'm going to click on search and I'm going to click OK. There are three syntax here. The first one is find text, which is what is the text that I would like to find. So I'm going to type in IS. So I'm going to put it in inverted commas, close inverted commas. For within text, I'm going to specify the cell which contains the entire text. In this case, it would be cell C8. Then my next syntax is start number. So I would like it to start searching from the very first letter, very first character. So that would be one. And I'm going to click OK. Once I do that, notice it has changed to seven. That is because the letter I in the word is falls at the seventh place in the sentence. All right, now let's look at our next function, which is replace. So again, I'm going to go to the insert function and type in replace. Click go, select a function replace and click OK. There are four syntax here. First one is old text. So that is my existing text. So that would fall in cell C9 and start number. This is the position of the character in the old text that I would like to replace with the new text. So let's say I would like to replace the word was to is because my current sentence is India was my country and I would like to replace the word was with is. So my starting number of this particular word would be seven because that's what we had calculated in the previous example. So I'm going to either click, I can either click on the cell or I can simply type in seven. Then number of characters. What are the number of characters that I would like to replace? Here I would like to replace three characters, W, A, S, and what is my new text? My new text would be is. So I'm going to type in is in inverted commas. And I'm going to click on OK. Once I do that, notice my sentence has transformed to a new sentence. India is my country from India was my country. Now let's look at the function text can go ahead and click on FX and type in text, click go, and click OK. So let's say I would like to transform this particular number 7 to $7. So when I do that, my first syntax is value. So I'm going to click on cell C10. And under format text, I'm going to specify the format in which I would like it to appear. So open inverted comma, type in a dollar sign, then type in 0, 0.00 and close inverted comma. And click OK. Notice this has changed to 7.00. But this has now been converted to text format as opposed to number. Now let's look at our final function which is care. So go ahead and click on FX, type in care, click go, select care and click OK. And under number I'm going to select cell D8 
2, which has the number 65 in it, and I'm going to click OK. You can see that it has translated 65 into the letter A. If I change this particular cell to 66, then it's going to translate it into B. And let's say if I change it to 70, then it's going to translate to F. So this function is basically translating the numbers into letters. Our final and very useful tip for a text function is how to merge cells without losing data in them. So let's say I would like to merge these cells from cell A3 to A11. Let me just copy it here so that I can show it to you clearly. So go ahead and increase the width of the column such that after merging your entire text is visible. So I'm simply going to increase the width of column E. Now that I've selected the cells which I would like to merge, under the Home tab I'm going to click on this particular sign under Editing, this downward arrow, and in that I'm going to click on Justify. Once I do that, notice all of my cell content from cell E3 through cell E11 has been placed into cell E3. So this is how easy it is to merge various rows of data into one cell. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomap.com. Thank you.